What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to part 2 of Rise of Insanity. Where I'm slowly going nuts as Steven Dowell. Um, who we, who are, we are finding out may or may not have multiple personalities. It's unclear. Um, our son's name is Theodore, I believe. Theodore Dowell. We found out that our son is dead and our wife is dead. And we are slowly losing our mind. Well, I would say slowly. I'm pretty sure we lost our mind for a long time, I guess. Ah, it's three o'clock, the witching hour. How lovely. Um, but yeah, the last episode was kind of nuts. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys if you guys didn't see it. If you haven't seen it, go check that one out. Town school. Theodore is a very talented child. He is a very calm. And he has the character of a dreamer. The only thing that disturbs me is the shadowy shape, which often appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic or something, nothing to be worried about. Miss Johnson. Good. That's all I want to hear. It's just something like a phase for him. For young Theodore. Are we also Theodore? Do we have another personality disorder? Where it's not just one, but multiple? That's everything in this room. All right. Thankfully, this game isn't like I want to say it's hard at all in any stretch of the imagination. It's not, but it is like stressful. As I said, stressful. My goodness, I hate that. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. That was my poor painting. Ha, huh, strange. Wait, what? If you guys look at the painting, look at that painting. You guys see that? It looks like a skull or something, right? It's not the same painting. It's similar. Look at that. It looks totally different. At least the face does to me. Maybe I'm crazy. Dear Mrs. Dowell, I am very pleased that you have fancy my floral com composition. I received your comments and further recommendations. I will plant rhododendrons as per your wish. I will have to drive my car in front of the greenhouse to move the seedlings. I hope you do not mind. Edward. Great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't like it. What's in the other room? We need to check out the other room. Why is it going to be like that? Why is the room gonna be so dark and dank and damp? Maybe we gotta go this way to find something to overcome the darkness? I don't know. Missing fuses. Oh good, the basement! Shit. Alright. Lovely place, big, spacious. It's actually huge and spacious, actually. That's kind of awesome. The Red Cross. Theodore's shield, his toy shield. <laughs> wow, you could do a lot of things in this basement. This is a nice basement, I gotta say. A little creepy with the bird pictures, but that's besides the point. <laughs> What? What am I supposed to gather out of this? Right, up, down, left? Right, up, uh, okay. Maybe they'll be applicable for something later. Oh. For this. Which I cannot interact with as of yet. That's correct. That's not correct. 
this should actually be moved. Yeah, I can't interact with it for now. I guess we'll have to come back for that. Okay. Hate this. Dear Steven, my wife is very well, as usual. Let's move to the essence of the case. You should remember that we have had a similar case in the past. It was the case that you took active part in. We are overworked. You might have forgotten. I think that you should, with the use of suggestion, help your patient to finish the dream. Hypnosis can be too invasive. Try to ask about his past. Accepting traumatic events he has experienced could be the starting point in merging his different selves. Look forward to your next letter. Greetings, Abraham. Disturbing effects of new treatment method. Um, hold on. Let me grab. Let me uh, dim the lights. I should have done this to start with. I always forget to, especially with like horror games. It also helps me to see a little bit better. All right, disturbing effects on the thingy. The treatment methods for severe psychological disorders by Dr. Stephen Dowell is based on an applying strong visual stimuli to the patient. It is aimed at putting the patient in a hypnotic trance during which he stands face to face with his fears and his deepest thoughts. The result of the treatment, however, is far from expectations. So far, the following therapeutic sessions with the doctor's films, patients have plunged into apathy, depression, experience epilepsy attacks continuing a long time after the appointment. The main association of psychologists is watching Dr. Stephen Dowell with anxiety. They plan to meet with the author of this controversial research. Okay. Controversial. Aw, it's a little compy. I want one. Nice little compy action figure. Oh, okay, guys. I want to see what you guys see when you see this. I want that in the comment section below, this picture. And if there's another one, of course, that one as well. But what do I see at first impression when I look at this picture? Um, actually, the first thing that comes to mind when I look at this particular picture is I kind of see this whole painting it's like a mask you put on your face. That's kind of what it looks like. You can see it has little ear muffs at the top on the upper left side and upper right side. And it has like a weird angular thing around the cheekbone where it goes and divots outward. And then it looks like it has like a weird jawline as well for on the mask. But it does look like a mask to me. But I'm curious what you guys see. And leave it down in the comment section below. Hate that, by the way. Look at that. It's a fucking spider. Disgusting. Well, I've delved into the basement. Everything seems peachy. Seems pretty great. I guess we're not meant to go there yet. Or we are, but we have to go into the darkness first. Or upstairs. Oh, or not. Oh, let's go in the darkness where I don't want to go. Oh, kill me. Oh, I hate this. I'm just gonna back up. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Holy shit. My fucking hairs are sticking up on my arms. Oh, so creepy. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, kill me. I don't like it at all. And I looked down, but there might have been something terrifying. Like, the noise itself was terrifying. Oh, this game is very... It's very off-putting. Gotta say. What? We're back here. Oh, 
Oh my gosh! Stop! I forgot! So apparently we weren't supposed to go that way? The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Okay. So I guess we do go back to the basement? Uh, everything is like the same. So did we die? Did we take too long? And what we were supposed to do? I still think it was, had something to do with this, but like... I don't know. Yeah, every, everything happened in reset because uh, we died. I guess. Why can't I interact with this? This is what I want to know. Like, I should be able to interact with it, right? But I can't. Hmm. Ah, I remember the rat being there. There's a shield, yup. And the thing is, we didn't actually pick up anything, like, of usefulness. Ah, okay. Until now. We picked up fuses. Okay. Ah, oh, and there we go. So this had to be like this, this had to be this way, had to be like that, and it had to be like that, I believe. Let me double check. And those two have to be inward. Perfect. And now the door's shut. However, we do have the fuses. Which is good. Great. Does that mean this room is now lit? It is. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we're good to explore it. We're not going to get freaking killed if we kill. That's different. This wasn't here in the last episode. It's finicky to grab. Let me grab it. Thank you. It's a bird. Strange bird. Oh, hello. What does that uh, say on the bottom? I can't exactly read it. Oh. Thought 1940. I always fear. That thoughts may not come back home. 1940. We'll keep that in mind. Okay. So yeah, we did die from that then because we didn't solve the puzzle. Makes sense. Patient Edward 41. Taking some pieces of advice from my friend Abraham, I established that Eddie suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet, and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. I have to think about the kind of therapy I will apply. Hmm. Interesting. There's the shadow person again. From the drawing. Toasted pastries. <laughs> what are we searching for here? Oh. On the phone? Hello, I have you have rang. Hello? Steven? Are you here? Steven? It's Eddie. I still think Steven and Eddie are the same person so far. Um, from what we've discovered from some of the evidence that we've seen, it kind of leads to that, I think. I could be wrong. 
But that's what I think. Okay. The fuck am I looking at? The shit am I looking at? It's strange. Peculiar. Unnerving. Derek, I'm lost. We're back in the morgue. I'm so sad. I've lost my figurines. Please oh. find them for me. Fuck off, kid. You should have been better at WWE. We could have. Your neck a little wouldn't have broke if that would have been the case. It's not my fault your neck broke. Let's get out of here. So we're gonna find figures now. Hmm. Here is one such figure. Creepy. No. Don't do this to me. Why is that so unnerving? Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm freaking freaking out right now. I hate this. Close the door. Okay. The bird looked at the sun and the sun said, fuck you. Quite the story. Ah, here's the next painting. We might have seen this one before, I'm not sure. But what do I see when I look at this initially? Well, what do I see? Hmm. I'm trying to get an image out of this. It's kind of hard to see an image. I kind of see like a face and the two little dots are like eyes. And then the bottom, it kind of looks like uh, a like Almost like lips. And on the top part of the picture, near the top part of the picture, on the two near the middle, it also kind of looks like lips. So it looks like really big lips and a weird nose thing at the very top. And I guess at the the very ends of the pictures where those those bigger blobs are, I guess you could they could be like, I don't know, ears, they could be hands. I don't know. That's kind of what I see. What do you guys see? Want to know in the comment section below? For the second picture. Oh, this is so unnerving. Guys, this is so much fun. I am loving um, the times of me not having a good time because this is a scary game. Who would have thought? Close the door. What could possibly happen? We just gotta find two little bakeries and then return to the morgue. At least one would presume we return to the morgue. Right. Right. What hell awaits me in this lobby? Why the door close? Is something coming up from down below? It better not be the case. I'm going to be real freaking pissed if that's the case. Well, here's my office again. Patient Hope you guys don't hear the cat in the background. 41. Day. <laughs> Having acquainted with the traumatic Eddie's past life, violence in the family and pathology, I've decided that I will use a less invasive method of treatment. We can handle without hypnosis. The confrontation with the past and dreams connected with some mild anxiolytics should be enough. I think that finishing the dream, so killing the wife and child can join his split selves. All we need to do is wait and observe. What? I don't understand. Weird. Okay. Dear Stephen, analyzing your previous letters and observations, I believe that the problem is connected with blank. Please give us some more thought. I am worried about you and your family. When I come back from the blank, 
and I will visit you and we will talk. Abraham. Yeah, send your wife and child some place. Make sure they are safe. Well, I'm pretty sure they're both dead. At least that's what, I, what I'm inclined to believe at the very moment. Okay, we go back to this room, the eye examination room. Nothing in here. Woman receives 30 stab wounds two days after the child is strangled during the sleep. So our wife, presumably, if this is correct, got stabbed 30 times by Stephen slash Edward? I, I still assume they're the same person. I could be still wrong. I don't see any of the other figurines. Where's the other figurines at? Oh, this is cleared out. We can actually go down this way now. Cool. Why are we going so slow? Oh, I'm very nervous. Hello? I liked it better when there was music. Like, nice. Relaxing, calming music. And now I'm left with utter silence in my desperate hour. Okay, there's another painting. Another picture. Let's check that out. Breaking news. As the investigation has shown, the police have established that the brutal murder of the family of the famous doctor of psychology was caused by the local gardener, Edward S. S? What does the S stand for? <laughs> Alright, so what do we see when we look at this picture? Well, frankly, I can see a man with a beard. And with two tiny eyeballs at the very top. Like, the rest of the picture is like a big beard. And then the middle is like his face going like... Bah! And then you can see the two little divots for his nose. That's what I see. What do you guys see? That's why I want to know in the comment section below for the third picture. So you have three pictures so far I want to hear comments about. I want to hear about it. I want to know what you guys see. Ah. The second freak of the bunch. You know, I didn't think it'd get any worse, but now we got worse. Great. I'm on edge of my seat. Don't jump scare me, bro. I don't like it. What I just say, you stupid little frickin' air conditioner dryer machine, you. Hey, we have no reflection. That's good. We are not people. We're a vampire. <laughs> Classic. Um. <sighs> well, are you done? Come on, man. I gotta go. What? Hello, what do we have here? Great. Okay. Just here for my doll. I'm not afraid. Stop it. Oh. Oh, I hate this game so far. It's gonna give me a heart attack. Oh, fuck off. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out over here. Whoa, that's a lot of gooch. That was a lot of goosh. Did you see the goosh? I saw the goosh. <laughs> oh, we're really fish-eyed. Oh, 
Oh, oh, here we go. I don't have control. I control the camera a little, I guess, but that's it. Yeah, I don't know what the. Whoa. I'm going crazy. Whoa, oh, go, go nuts. Freaking trippy, dude. We're spinning around at the speed of sound, baby. Oh, there's the goosh. That's all we were missing was the goosh. Um, goosh? Dude, this is crazy. Would you guys ride a roller coaster like that? It'd be pretty rad. Oh, shit, we're in control now. We're the crow. Okay. Very interesting. Hmm. Excuse me. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. Well, that was lovely. That was a hell of a time. But, um... Great, we're back here. Hello, what is this? This is a light! Oh, good. I hate it. Oh. What the fuck? All right. We're going in. So sketchy. Oh, that was death. Oh. Good. Wow, oh, let's just, um. Some motherfucker gonna chase me. I'm gonna be pissed if he chases me down. I piss, I mean, I'm gonna shit a brick. Gonna happen. Alright, let's find some stuff. Tape. Tape will be helpful against the fight against the man of the. Uh, Hour. Sometimes I suffer terribly, but because I have to restrain myself when I see you preparing dinner, holding a beautiful knife in your hand, I imagine us together with cold steel in your bowels. I look at your beautiful eyes, laced with tears, and your life slowly fades. I dream of giving you a last kiss on your fading lips. Eddie. Great. 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 Oh, I hate it. I love it. It's so great. I'm glad he did that. Awesome. Yay. Four notes, a shovel, and the shadow man. Shadow man. Cool. Do we, um, like, go back or... Are we good now? Can we go in the greenhouse? Uh, one would presume we go back in the greenhouse. Yes, we have tape after all. And if we can't go back in the greenhouse, let's just go this way actually. Can we go this way? Oh, hello. It's like a crow? What is it? It's so strange. What? What's the point of that? There we go. Excellent. Oh, no Becky. Becky. All right, birds, man. I've come for you. Where are you? What? That boy buried in garden. 
As a result of ongoing investigation, the police have found the body of Theodore Dowell, the son of a well-known psychologist, was murdered. And buried in a greenhouse on the premises of a gardener by Edward S. Excuse me. There's a phone. Doing a lot of burpees. A mouse! Yeah! Come for oh, whoa. me! Please! Mom is lying here. She is so cold. You're a cold kid. Alright. Well, I think this is probably a good spot where we can end today's episode of Rise of Insanity. Uh, my insanity is rising and my sameness is slowly dwelling still. If you guys liked today's episode, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, tell me you guys think of this game so far, and of this episode, if you guys liked it. If uh, you're new to my channel, or been watching me for a little while, and you haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, MadSquash924, and don't forget to ring the bell as well to get notified for when a new episode of Rise of Insanity comes out. On the next episode, we are still in our house, the TV is going off, it looks like there's a weird thing in our house where the kitchen should be. It's going to be great. Can't wait to show you guys next time. Bye-bye.